My hope is that now that the election is over, that uh, Mr. Putin will be able to discuss with us and be willing to talk more seriously about prisoner exchange. That is my intention. My intention is to get her home. So is the White House doing enough to bring the Americans home? Is there any motivation for Russia to return them? I'm joined now by Jonathan Franks. He's a crisis management consultant for families of Americans wrongfully detained overseas. He was also the spokesman for the family of U.S. Marine Trevor Reed, who was held in Russia for almost three years. Jonathan, thank you for being here. One thing I want to ask you is I thought it was interesting during President Biden's um, press conference yesterday, he, he talked about the midterm elections uh, and how he hope that maybe now there would be a deal with Putin now that the midterms were over. What does that have to do with anything? Well, and thanks for having me. I think what it has to do, the Russians are enjoying causing chaos in our country by you know trolling us in the way that a negotiating table. So th there's been a substantial offer on the table for, what, more than a month. And they're ju they just weren't interacting with it. And it is possible that they thought by delaying it that they would hurt Biden in the midterms. Do you think this is like the worst possible time to be trying to have these negotiations, unfortunately, for these Americans' families uh, just because of the war with Ukraine? I actually don't. I actually think it's a good time to be having the discussion because, you know, I've seen this movie a whole bunch of times. And Sometimes the worse relations are between two states, the easier it is to have a humanitarian negotiation. You just have to create the space for a humanitarian negotiation amidst the, uh, the, the, the overall climate of war. And I think we did that very successfully with Trevor Reed. That's why he's home. What do you say to the families of these Americans? Because, uh, you know, it's got to be hard to stay quiet. Is it, is it good advice to sit back and let the government work? Is it better to be public on social media? Uh, you know, what do you tell them? I tell them it's better to be as public as possible. And, you know, I have never seen one of these cases resolved by osmosis. Uh, you know, they resolve when the family gets sick and tired of being sick and tired and, and goes public and maintains pressure generally on our government, right? In this case, in Brittany's case, the government, our government seems to have done its part and we're waiting on the Russians, you know, to stop trolling us and come to the table, um, which is kind of a unique situation. But when you said earlier, is the White House doing enough to bring her home? It's never enough until somebody is actually home. But it does seem like the White House has taken a significant step towards getting that done. Yeah, and you've got to imagine for President Biden, um, you know, he wants, I hate to think of it like this, but he wants that that photo op. I mean, he wants to be there when she comes off the plane and have her come to the White House. It's, it's good for him politically, too. Actually, I don't think he'll do that, right? He hasn't invited Trevor Reed to the, the White House yet, and that is one you know, where he, he would have been lauded after that photo op. So I don't think it's about photo ops for this president. It was for, for President Trump, but it's not for President Biden. It's I, I think he just believes it's the right thing to do to bring our people home. Do you think it'll be soon for Brittany Griner and the others? It's hard to know because, you, you know, the problem isn't moving our side. The problem is moving the Russian side and yeah. nobody really knows why they're not moving. So, you know, I, I would tend to bet on what Governor Richardson has said that, you know, he hopes that it'd be resolved by the end of the year. That's certainly my hope, um, you know, for her sake, for her family's sake. I mean, there's absolutely no need for her to endure an entire Russian winter. Yeah, let's hope for, uh, for you know, that, that they come home soon, obviously. Jonathan Franks, uh, thank you so much for coming on tonight. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.